this guy is taking the track and field world by storm. Yeah, so earlier this month, Eugene Amudadze made headlines when he tore up the track at the Horse Mandel Memorial Meet in Austria, running the 100-meter sprint, look at him go, Ooh. in just 9.93 seconds, y'all, making him the fastest man in Europe this year. In Europe! And ties him as the fourth fastest British runner ever. In history! And he just, no, this is the kicker here. He just started running competitively four years Who ago. Who is this guy? Amazing. What, at 26 years 26 old? 26 years old, yeah. The self-titled world's fastest accountant, Eugene Amodadzi, joining us right now. <laughs> Eugene! What are, you, what are you putting in your cereal? What, 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 what are yeah, you? What, where is the secret sauce to being? You know, what are you? Thirty-one now, and you were never a serious okay, stretcher. Well, now you're breaking records. Yesterday. Oh, look at his muscles! Wow. I know. Yeah, you got a lot going on, dude. So oh, we can work to do. It's really no. It's really hot in the UK right now. Oh, and his uh, accent. Okay, time, tell me more. I'm just, just tell me. Just talk. We just like what? hearing you. Just talk. It's been crazy. It's honestly been crazy. Um, yeah, I call myself the world's fastest account. I've got a nine to five. Um, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a governor of a primary school. Um, and <laughs> yeah, years, um, when I was at the age of 26, you know, I just decided to. It was a crazy story, actually. So it's a crazy so, um, story. Are you surprised by how much success you have had in such a short amount of time? Or did you have this kind of full confidence you know, in yourself? You know what? It didn't start off like this. It was just. It was just to try it. I'd never, my friend turned over to me one day and said, you were fast at school. Why did you never try this out? And mm. I didn't really have an answer for him. So I turned over to him and I said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to give it a go. And I sought out who was my first coach. And I said, look, how do I get involved in this thing? He told me, look, come down. You like it. Join the club. If you don't, happy days. Um, and yeah, the rest is history. Here I am, the world's fastest accountant. Um, and yeah, it's been a surreal Surreal, surreal type of week. Um, okay, I think you're a I resident runner. <laughs> you must have some questions. Well, I mean, I, I'm a distance runner. What you do, like, I tried to see how fast I could run just once around the track, and I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Like, it's <laughs> watching you do what you do and make it look so effortless. Um, you have is, very is powerful incredible. lungs, I'm sure. Like, your breathing is yeah. an issue. I have a question. Are you keeping your day job? Because you are. I know you're the world's fastest accountant, and that's cute and all. But you are seeing so much success. <laughs> How do you have time to yeah. do that nine to five and train? You know what? It's, it can be a crazy, crazy juggling act. And I'm very thankful for a wonderful support system. You know, my missus has been amazing. My coach, my um, company that I work for, you know, really gracing me and giving me the time that I need to jet around Europe and race and things like that. So, you know what? Look, do I want to keep working at nine to five? I've been running, look, it would be great, you know. You know, if you know anybody at Nike, Adidas, Puma, you know, tell them to holler at your boy. Let's, let's <laughs> oh, see if you can get working. Oh, he's for an endorsement. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah, no, for sure. It would be great, you know, if somebody wants to come on board um, and, and give me the option, you know, to walk away from the day job for, for a period of life, you know? I have no doubt that sponsorships and partnerships and massive deals are coming your way. Speaking of, you know, kind of in that same vein, what's been the most exciting thing that's happened to you um, since all this success? Has life changed much for you and your family? Life has certainly changed. My coach, when I ran it, I went up to my coach and said to me, your life has literally just changed. But I don't think either one of us appreciated how quickly that was going to happen. I think, you know, it almost feels like everybody wants a piece of me right now. And it's been a little bit overwhelming at times. But no, I am thankful for it, you know, to have the platform. And I thank you guys for giving me a platform as well. Um, but yeah, it's been surreal. Um, I've had a lot of people reaching out, a lot of people wanting to work, a lot of people talking about you know, all sorts of things, documentaries and, and different kind of things like that. So it's all very exciting stuff. And I'm just trying to pray that God gives me wisdom to navigate it all really well. Um, but yeah, no, when, I mean, this has been really exciting, you know, reaching yeah. out to me from the States. I'm like, you know, God, oh, that's awesome. So I'm definitely cool. going to do that because, so cool. <laughs> you know, it'd be great to get my name out there. And hopefully, you know what I mean? I love, I love, you no, know, I love coming out to the States. I've been out there a few times. Never been to, you guys are based in Chicago, right? We're yes, based in Chicago. You us. are welcome to come and visit us in the studio anytime. Eugene, I just have one more quick question for you. You just mentioned sure. God, but what is it about you that there are a lot of people, I talk to guys all the time who are like six foot five. They didn't play pro ball. They regret <laughs> that they aren't able. It's too late for them to get on the field you mm. took the advice of your friends and you actually said i'm going to rewind and do something that i might have been or should have been doing all along what is your advice to those watching about anyone who thinks it's too late to pursue their dreams i think we all owe it to ourselves i mean i truly believe god's put something inside of everybody 
And I think we all owe it to ourselves. We owe it to God to do the best with those talents we've been given and trust God and just take them as far as we can. I think there's one parable in the Bible, I'm going to real quickly share about it. And, you know, the master gets to the last person and the last person talks about he buried it in the sand. And the master took that one that he had and he gave it to somebody else. And that's always one of those things that's encouraged me that I think it's never, too, we always tell ourselves we're too busy, we're too old, whatever it may be. There may be a sense of my story, it's like it does, it's not logical, but it's, it, all it takes is a little bit of belief and proactive faith. Get yeah. out there and get and it done, get moving, late. get doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.